favored over an upstart team that believes in fun and in its unusual coach. North Carolina State was tuning up to face Georgia in the semifinals of the National Collegiate Basketball Championships, the most significant game coach Jimmy Valvano had ever coached, the most significant game his players had ever played. I can stand up there and tell them, this is the most important thing in your life you've ever done. This is it. This is what's going to give meaning to your life. This is everything. Or I can tell them what I do tell them, is that for 40 minutes, I want you to think that this is the most important thing that you possibly can do. As soon as the buzzer goes off, when you go in the locker room, I want you to understand the relative unimportance of what you've done. Jimmy Valvano has a sense of proportion about basketball and a sense of humor. Rare qualities in the tensely supercharged setting of college basketball's Final Four. Other coaches try to shield their players, even isolate them. But Jimmy V encourages his wolf pack to howl, to have fun. Curfew. We, we don't have a curfew here. To chat cheerfully with armies of reporters. I listen to coach. <laughs> I listen to coach. The coach is always loose, man. To sign autographs, to savor the moment in the spotlight. I tell him it's not going to happen often. You know, when you get out, nobody's not going to put ABC cameras on you, you know. The shop's not going to come talk to anybody, you know, get them at work. Enjoy it. Have fun. I am. Valvano is a wise-cracking 37-year-old New Yorker who coached Johns Hopkins and Bucknell, built a powerful team at little-known Iona College, then broke a long-term contract to face the challenge of college basketball's big time, NC State, in the prestigious Atlantic Coast Conference. Basketball is not, is not funny. You know, in North Carolina, North Carolina State, it's, uh, it is very serious, very serious business. It took me, us a while to understand each other. First I thought, well, here comes a Yankee, but now he's a Southerner, just like all of us. In this, his third season down south, Galvano began slowly, guiding the pack to a mediocre 9-7 and seven start. If somebody had told you three months ago that you'd be playing in the Final Four, what would you have said? It would have been hard for me to believe. Somebody was telling me that. Mm. I couldn't see that happen. Midway through the season, Valvano was rewarded with a new contract, and he in turn rewarded State's fans with a sizzling finish, going into the Final Four with 15 victories in 18 games, triggering campus pep rallies by upsetting North Carolina and Virginia, winning the Atlantic Coast Conference Tournament, staging a series of comebacks that defied credibility and inspired Valvano to joke. We practice cutting the nets down every year. I have these gold scissors that we use. These, we save these just for one thing. That's for the national one. Valvano brought to the fight for the national title players who could hug him and mock him. Sidney Lowe imitated Valvano's walk. It's my job to have the kids who are 18 to 22, which is what I get, that they should enjoy it. They should look back and say, that's a great four years. Valvano was also a realist. There will never be where all you have to do is turn out good, solid citizens. Oh, this is, this is competitive uh, world. This is college athletics or any athletic. Sure, you know, you're going to have to win, too. Jimmy V wanted very much to win yesterday against favored Georgia. The crowd in Albuquerque included the parents of state stars and Valvano's own wife and children. Coach V delivered a pregame speech that wasn't quite win it for the Gipper. Go out and have fun. Don't be tense. Just go out and have fun. Play ball. When Derek Wittenberg hit for the game's first basket, North Carolina State moved in front for good. Valvano maneuvered wisely, resting key players, varying his offense and his own defenses, building a lead that reached 18 points with five and a half minutes to play. Kozell McQueen was intimidating. Thurl Bailey was devastating. And even though Georgia rallied to within five points in the final minute, the Wolf Pack wound up doing just what the coach ordered, having a good time. Was it fun, Jimmy? Uh, it, it was a ball. If State loses to Houston, Jimmy V says he will allow his players 24 hours to feel sorry for themselves and curse the basketball gods. Then he says he will tell them to pick up their butts and get back in the mainstream.